now let us discuss about computing environments we can develop and execute the programs in various environments they are first one is traditional or personal computing environment second one is time sharing computing environment third one is client server computing environment fourth one is peer to peer computing environment and the last one is distributed computing environment that is nothing but distributed systems first let us see the first one traditional or personal computing environment so the name itself specifies the meaning so here uh, we are going to develop and uh, execute the programs in personal computers so it may be a, either a laptop or a, a desktop computer traditional computers or personal computers are nothing but uh, stand alone computers stand alone computers so that means they won't be interconnected with other computers through the network they are a, they are stand alone computers separate computers so all the laptops and pcs which we use in the home or office are nothing but uh, traditional or personal computing environment so here we are going to develop and uh, execute the programs in uh, personal computers second one is uh, time sharing computing environment uh, time sharing computing environment the name itself specifies the meaning here the cpu time will be shared among multiple tasks multiple processes let the main memory contains uh, three processes such as p1 p2 and p3 process so then what will happen is cpu time will be shared among all the processes so let operating system allocated cpu for uh, 2 milliseconds so now cpu can executes a process only for 2 milliseconds so cpu can executes p1 for 2 milliseconds after that uh, cpu control will be shifted to the second process so cpu will executes process 2 for 2 milliseconds after that cpu control will be shifted to third process p3 so now cpu can executes p3 also for 2 milliseconds so this is called as time sharing computing environment so it is nothing but multi programming system so multiple processes will be in the main memory so that cpu can executes all the three processes simultaneously concurrently so here cpu time will be shared among all the processes so that we can execute all the three programs in a faster manner and the third one is uh, client server computing environment so client server computing so here we have multiple clients so multiple clients are connected over a network so let it be the network so multiple compute multiple clients are connected over the network with the server so here client is nothing but a dummy component so client doesn't have any data whereas server is nothing but very powerful it has large amount of data so if a client needs some data then the client will send a request to the server so server will receives the request process the request and provides a response to the client so this is about client server computing environment and the fourth one is peer to peer computer environment peer to peer means here we will, we will have uh, multiple clients and all those clients are connected with other okay so all the computers are connected one another so here peer to peer so here each computer will become client as well as server suppose let us assume that this is first computer second computer third computer fourth computer let us assume that first computer wants some data from fourth computer so then first computer will becomes the client fourth computer will becomes the server so first computer 
will send a request to the fourth computer. So fourth computer receives the request, process the request and provides the response to the computer one. Let us assume that uh, uh, computer four wants some data from computer one. So let us assume that computer one has some data. So computer four needs that data. So then what will happen? This fourth computer will become the client whereas first computer will become the server. So here what will happen? Each computer will act as both client and server. So peer to peer computers, all the computers are colleagues. So there is no slave, there is no master. And the last one is distributed computing environment. So distributed computing environment can also be called as distributed system. So here we have uh, multiple systems. All the systems are connected over the network. So let we have four systems. So these four systems are connected over the network. So if you want to develop a large application, then what will happen is that application will be distributed among, among these four computers. So each computer will perform some task uh, and that information, each computer information, so will be shared among all the computers. Let us assume that we are developing a large project. So in which we need uh, uh, some requirement analysis engineers, next to some design engineers, next to some coding engineers, next to some testers. So we need different departments, but each department needs remaining three departments information also. So in that occasion, we use the distributed system. So that information will be shared among all the computers. So the information which is in first computer will be shared among two, three, four computers. Likewise, the information in three will be shared among all the computers. So each computer information will be shared among all the computers. So this is nothing but distributed computer. So it is mainly useful in order to develop a large application. So these are the various computing environments.